All right, we're going to start this match between Mark Bijsterbos and Berk Menmesek. Or Menmesek, I think. Good morning, everybody. The underdog in this match, but he is also the current Dutch champion, Temble. In uh, November 2023, he won the finals. Um, the break is uh, nine on the spot. Um, breaking from the box. Ooh, that still goes in. Ball <laughs> on the bottom spot. So one of those three places. I'm not quite sure if the five passes the seven. I don't think so. So he's playing position for the bank. Hmm. That's not okay. Oh, is it there? Yeah, it's good. Nice. Great shot. Yeah, it's a good shot. The tables are... No. <laughs> Mark says, this is aggressive. Just go for the bank. Left it all up now. 60 HR cloth on it. Um, the balls has just been polished. This is the first match on this TV table for today. So... So this tournament is the main event, and this is a match from the winner side. A slow roll there. Oh, well done. With lots of confidence, and that will. Put a 1-0 score for Burke on the board. Burke. And of course the third match for Mark Bijsterbos too. Mark uh, in a former match beat John Abiven to this conditions. Made it. Played position for the 2-6 combination. No. Ooh. Games and also Berg. I think recently he's been doing well in the pool scene in the Netherlands. So, uh, what can you tell me? Can you talk me up? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was aggressive. That was really the first real. Mark. This is something we people been discussing about for ages it feels like about Mark but I honestly feel like he's just playing to his is if you can remember a particular match I know it's snooker but uh, when you had Ronnie O'Sullivan playing Mark Selby during COVID he was trailing three frames Selby needed just one to and Ronnie just went all out attack and he eventually turned over the match that was a deliberate tactic so sometimes it really works you know just to push the boat out a bit and just go because sometimes players are internally looking for something to click special shots just to put him back on track and you know because we we all know how good of a front runner he is once he gets in the groove he just reels off rack after rack very fast and before it feels like it, the match has been going for like 15 minutes he's pretty straight on this six well done checking that up Getting a little bit more pace here, yeah. So, Mark now punishing the mistake by Burke. So, to tell you where we are at the moment, is uh, we are at the winner's qualification moment, so we are have. Losers round matches and winner round matches. 
One of the things that Mark is renowned for is his powerful break in this rack. If he can pull this one off, we could be on to break and run. It's a good shot. I think it's a fabulous shot. It's a six out. N10. And also on the WNT Pro Tour, he's uh, reached a couple of quarterfinals. Just ended up short. He might just power this in in the middle. But it's a very I think he'll go shot. to the corner. Yeah, you're right. He was going no, for that's the corner. Uh, well, still, the tables are with the new cloth pretty slight. In my former team, the Schedels, Plant Schedels. So I think it's e it's good to, to, to play this with inside. Not oh, still okay, I think. I think this is not quite sure what its plan will be. Yeah, yeah still, still playing uh, he's very comfortable in these slow. Play that parts. really well. Compact. Doesn't feel like a lot can go wrong. Very solid. Nice pause at the end. Wow. <laughs> Almost missed that one. Well, new cloth, a lot of uh, balls will slide in. So a second frame, second rack for Burke. And um, it's about 10 degrees outside, maybe a little less, eight, I think. 10 years we have uh, organized this. 10 years anniversary tournament. That was a two way shot. Yep. Try to attack. Ooh. Good Close, effort. but Good no effort. cigar. Yes, yeah, the most Q spot, isn't it? Close. Stins ball on the three here. I expect him to go around. No. Finding a spot between the six nine, so you can also opt to use the nine. Play position on the four. Nope. It that was close. It was that still <laughs> worked out. It was a very small uh, question then on uh, YouTube where the live stream is. There is a chat. We will watch that chat and uh, watch your comments so uh, you can uh, ask any questions there and uh, try to help out. For now, my position to run this rack. And Mark Bijsbos is one of the bigger names here in the tournament. We don't have Niels Feijen in here today. Niels is in uh, Morocco, playing the tournament there. Uh, but we have names like Ralf Suke, Nick van der Berger, uh, Mr. Kachi. Yeah. So it's not as tight as you see them lately in, uh, in the Nine Ball Tour, where it's a lot of four inch pockets. These are a bit wider. If you look at the merit, the professional tour rankings based on the W, Mark is the biggest player we have on the, in this tournament parti participating. It's, it's about prize money then, I think, I guess. Yeah. So he. Yeah. So yeah, he is. And there's the also a big tournament in Costa Rica, I guess. Yeah. So he is the biggest player we have, and uh, yeah, well, you'll see. You you can see here. Um, he doesn't mess about and. He shoots with a lot of confidence, so it's... Uh, yeah, but that doesn't mean uh, that uh, directly he is the uh, most favorite of the t title. He might be. It never means but, that. Uh, it never means that. It's, uh, it's still an interesting tournament. I think Petri Makonen, I uh, had the pleasure to commentate on his match yesterday. I'd say near faultless. It was a very solid performance. So the, and, and Claudio Kachi, uh, who 
won his both matches 9-1 yesterday, who was also really in form, fast, attacking, not a lot that went wrong. So there's a lot of guys out there that can definitely prove to be a handful. And th let's not forget our uh, legend, Nick van den Berg, one of the flag bearers of Dutch international pool scene. He's still in the tournament, so there's a lot of guys out there yeah, that can... Yeah, and you're, you're not on the bottom ball. And all, yeah, of course, the one and the nine are squatted. And the other boss are all random. That is a that gorgeous is. break, but uh, unfortunately you can't see the two. Well, Berg is not believing in it. He's playing a push-out. So it's up to Mark. Right side behind the eight, cue ball behind the seven. Yeah. Keep it easy. I think that is exactly what he's going for. Yeah. Well done. Up, so I. He's looking for some draw. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly that's what I wanted. <laughs> that's in. But yeah, it's a termination. It's not a hanger. He'll have to make sure that he lands comfortable on the seven. I'm not so sure if he played. Ah, uh, he might just be able to hold it. Well stroked. Well, yeah. that'd be a great. Oh, he is going forward. Yeah. Maybe gonna use the nine as well. Ooh, that's and not going too well. Stays on the table. That shot. There it is. Yeah. Well done. And uh, good for the match. That was a solid break. Yep. That is exactly how you want. Has a great opening shot and first glance I can't see a problem here for Mark to run this rack. Match is going on in the winner's qualification round. And this match is now tied of course free all. Uh, the other the UK against Nicolas Dorr, the talented guy from Germany. Uh, but Adam Smith is up 6 to 1. Yeah, Adam is a very keen player. I had the pleasure to uh, play a couple of racks on his own private table in his house. And they are very tight pockets, even tighter than the official tough conditions. And I think it's something that can really help when you're playing these tournaments. Yeah, and he's of course uh, traveling to with our colleague Graham Hickman. Um, so they, uh, I've spoken to him a few times. Nine ball is currently not very um, been played a lot in the UK. Um, so um, I just want to say, what a flawless rack, by the way. Yeah, yeah, just cruising around between Goran Gobas, the owner of Go Gustom Cues. One of the sponsors here, you can see it in the top left in this shot on the boardings there in the in the main table. If you go to qscore.com or if you condition to run this rack too, we can see back to back break and runs. Go into his confidence, get into his stride, you're in trouble. But I have al also have to say, Berk has looked very solid. So far, not a lot. He's done those. Yeah, just missed the seven, huh? <laughs> Let's see if the side craps on the rail. Yeah. Oh, I could cheat it enough. Well done. A deal, or a bit more angle as well, would do. Yeah, left himself. Thinner on the seven. The table's pretty slick. Normally you play this with top spin. He was looking at it, but uh, the table won't crap. So uh, that's why he draw it uh, one roll out. He was playing with fire there. Look at where the cue ball has just landed. He had a direct hit. So um, he's not playing real first, I guess. Oh, he is. Ooh, and that forced the miss. Well, if the, the cloths of the, 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 the real scrap, then it would be good to play it with inside. It looks like nine to the middle. Yep. Yeah, that's comfortable enough. No. It's a nice shot there. 
No Streaming. Another success, successful. Yeah, I don't think you want to stop that. I think because the tables are very slick, it will easily draw back a little bit. But um, that's great. Look at the oh, spin good. he's generated there. It hardly hit the ball there in front of Ford in the middle of two rails here. Gorgeous. Yeah, uh, he's picking up steam. And uh, like I said, he's a great front runner. That little positional error that caused Berg to miss the eight is looking like it's uh, been very costly for him. He's facing a 6 3 deficit. Now, Rip. with these cloths, yes, straight off. Just tr go. Uh yeah, so he's used the cushion. Yeah, and that's what I know like because it's very slippy. And he can consider himself lucky. <laughs> oh. At these conditions, as slippery as it is right now, I'd just like to keep it. I like there the speed that you chose to put the nine there. It didn't smash it in. Gets break and run from Mark. He is really picked up steam and Berg really can't afford to lose this rack here. Ooh, mm. <laughs> that was very close. Car going to be the the one he's currently facing and the other one is the 4 to the 5. Wow. That wasn't really close. Nope. And I told you before he uh, broke off this rack pivotal and I think this could be the moment where uh, Mark separates enough to Run, run away from the way he's been breaking. It's only going to go one way when he is at the table. Yeah, so this rack you could almost consider done because, and he's not exhibited anything that could forespell that he could pot potentially a glitch. Yeah, there's an arc players. Once they have a four, four, four or five rack cushion, it's very hard to come back from that, especially if it's alternate break, because... Uh, um, that's between Ivo Aerts and Nick van der Berg. Well, how could you forget about that match? Indeed, an awesome match been streamed here on the live stream. So this... Tournament will uh, finish tomorrow. I feel like I can hold it behind the six, then I would take it on if I doubt it. Yeah, it's not there. That's a little bit open. <laughs> yeah, I found that a very difficult shot. Um. <laughs> it's always like that when fine, but there could be an instance where you can't avoid them. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you were quite quick in the... <laughs> what a fluke <laughs> there. That's heartbreaking if you're Berg, right? Yeah, well... Berg knows that it's all part of pool. And, um, probably draw this below the seven. So let me ask you this. If you were in Berg's position and you have an opponent like Mark playing this mind right now... Nothing. Just wait and watch, uh, wait for my moment for my own game, focus on that and not in focusing in how he is playing. Well, let me reframe it. Would you feel would you feel comfortable enough to have faith in winning this match? I always will. When I'm at the table or I'm, I'm playing, I'm always having faith. Even if I'm trailing 8-0 to 9, I don't, then, then it's going to be ball, ball by ball, frame by frame, I'll take it. And I will wait for my turn there. Fortunately, it came, and I think if you are still positive in getting that chance, 
that really were against war or how bad I play because I will always tell myself I'm, I'm struggling at the moment but give me one more chance I will prove that I can play and I can beat you and that's he had a similar type of shot and he chose to draw back and I think he's still doing the same thing here uh, so he's not going around the table. Oh no! That's well, case. I think and I know that Berg has talked to enough people or during warm-up and seen that it's really slippy out there. And that's why just polished. Yeah, but it's the match is well on the way. Just enough. Not a lot of things he's done wrong. Yeah, he did fluke the three previous rack. So there it is, and runs. Yeah. Mark to continue to the last 32 and Safety Burke will through. have another shot in the losers round later on today. Congratulations Mark. And we will continue with our next match.